feel like a Ghostbuster. So I mentioned podcast. I'm sure you're thrilled to know we're doing a Water Wednesday. Am I an awful mum? Did I show you the hallway? I just can't be asked. <laughs> new year so this is the first video i've technically filmed this year but if you didn't see my previous video it was me setting goals if you like a chatty video that one's for you i'm not really sure what's happening this week all i know is that i'm working on the podcast i don't know if you can see or saw earlier i've fastened my mic to my desk i've also submitted artwork and stuff so i'll show you that and then i don't know i've noticed i've had a couple of inquiries via email I'm just gonna bring you along for life i also need to go and return something to Today, so and we've got like a bit of a day off in the middle of the week uh, as I like to match my boyfriend's rotor and he's off on Wednesday and Thursday this week so hopefully we have chance to do something fun although he's got to do a lot of interview prep which is not fun so so I mentioned podcast and I thought this could be the video where I unveil it <laughs> so the podcast yes, is called creativity talking. unfiltered real talk real people basically the premise is I want to inspire creative souls to pursue what they love when I was a teenager this is something I would have loved to hear because a lot of the jobs that were pushed were academic ones me just telling my tutor at the time that I wanted to be a photographer was like unheard of so I'm gonna chat to my pals and hopefully meet some new people along the way about their creative journey, what inspired them, the challenges they've faced, etc, etc. So I'll put the artwork here, you've probably already seen it. And then there is a trailer. I did do that trailer very quickly. It was one of those things, if I wasn't gonna do it right then and there, I would have overthought it. So I just did it. So whether you listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc, etc. It should be on there. I'm not sure when it'll launch, but I'm just really happy to have got the branding stuff sorted. I've even sort of mocked up the branding for when I've got a guest on, because I'd like to have the image of the guest in the little thumbnail. In fact, I'll put that on here as well. I used Hannah. Of course, I'll be interviewing Hannah. So yeah, that's the first big thing that I've sort of started doing this year. And I've put on my calendar that I want it to be launched by March. So I've got some time to gather people. If you're watching this and you're in the creative industry and you'd like to share your story message comment or pop me an email whatever you want dm me on instagram and we'll have a chat and we'll see if we can make something work so i am just gonna plan my week it's monday morning it's half past 10 i've not started as early as i should have but it is what it is i'm trying not to be too hard on myself i am struggling a little bit with motivation i won't lie like this january motivation thing is sort of going up and down it's not very consistent so what i'm doing is just being kind to myself and as long as i'm getting my to-do list done then we're happy i don't want to overwork myself this year and i don't want to glamorize burnout in fact i screenshot this thing it said we need to stop glamorizing overworking please the absence of sleep good diet exercise relaxation and time with friends and family isn't something to be applauded too many people wear their burnout as a badge of honor and it needs to change this <laughs> I feel like my motto for the year is going to be like, not as blunt as this, but earn as much doing as little as possible. That's why I want to master the art of passive income. I want to really streamline my process. I don't want to have to be working like 12 hour days every single day of the week just to get by. That's not the life I want to lead. I want to think of like good processes and things that can aid me in having a good balance. I am in the process of practicing for the podcast. Hang on. If I plan on filming in winter, I clearly need to work on the lighting. I think I've made progress. I've just been speaking to Charlotte and she's told me about a website called Zencaster and it helps you sort of create podcasts via the web i'm trying it out and you know what it actually works pretty well i was trying to figure out the webcam situation but i figured out that using my actual just my iphone as the camera works the best the free version of zencaster only lets you record up to 1080p but i feel like that's fine you can also use the phone as the mic so if i have a guest that doesn't have a specific mic they can use that pretty much everyone has an iphone right so if the iphone audio is fine we should be okay it's the best time of the week hang on why have i set the 
wash it going. Shush. We've got important things to talk about. As I'm sure you have already guessed, this vlog is of course sponsored by my favourite people, HelloFresh. Now, I rave about HelloFresh to everyone in my real life, as well as to you guys online. And the main thing I love about them is the value for money. So if you didn't know, HelloFresh offers a food subscription. So you pick meals, whether that's the super quick recipes, my personal favourite, ready in less than 15 minutes. They have calorie smart, they have family friendly ones. There's actually over 44 recipes every single week so if you want to branch out on your weekly dining experience HelloFresh is the way to go and the portions actually start from just £3.15 per portion and that is before the discount code that I have for you. Wait for this guys, it's a big one. So with my code THORP24 you can get 60% off your first box and 20% off your next two months. Plus free gifts and we all love a freebie. I've put the QR code here on screen so if you want to pause the video and scan that you can go ahead it'll take you to the offer or I've left the link in the description. Let's have a look at the meals we've got this week shall we? So this week we have beef mince and potato kima, Korean inspired 21 day aged sirloin steak. Oh she's fancy. She's channeling date night. And then finally, Parma ham pasta in creamy garlic sauce. These cards are super, super handy and convenient. All the instructions are on the back with the ingredients on the front and everything comes in a little pre-portioned, ready to go bag. So you get less food prep and less food waste. And of course, you save yourself a lot of money. We love to see it. Cost of living and all that stuff. And don't forget, if you want to try out HelloFresh, trust me, it's so worth it. Use my code THORP24 or scan the QR code that I will pop up on screen here. And of course, there is a link in my description. Thank you so much for sponsoring this vlog, HelloFresh. I've literally been working for hours. I mean I changed scenery, I sat downstairs and we've eaten tea. It was so good. I'm definitely ordering that kima, what was it? Beef kima again? Delish. And I'm gonna have a little 10 minute break and I've realised I've not watered the plants so I'm sure you're thrilled to know we're doing a water Wednesday. It is Thursday for me, however if I don't do it right now as I'm thinking about it I'm 100% gonna forget and I'm pretty sure I've probably not watered my plants over the entire Christmas period which is not good. So welcome to water Wednesday but on a Thursday, I mean a Tuesday, oh my god. I've been asked before as well where this uh, watering can is from and I'm so sorry but I have no idea it was a gift and there's no name on it so if anyone knows it's glass so it does kind of terrify me every time I pick it up but it's beautiful we love her we have a sad state of affairs happening over here I think this plant's dead let's water her anyway I keep just putting water in and hoping but I think I think it's dead We've got a lot of crispy leaves happening too. I really need to pay some attention to these plants. Window plants are thriving. This one's fake. But these two, these guys are thriving. Oh God, I've, oh, I've definitely neglected. Oh dear. I think this one needs a bigger pot. Oh no. Okay, yeah. I feel like I need to add deal with my plant children to my to-do list for this week. Am I an awful mum? In my defence, that started off really small, okay? So I've loved her that much. This is why it's happened. Hello. You all right? Are you helping? So helpful. So helpful. Watch your head. The most helpful born. Can I help him with this one? You are so helpful. So helpful. Helpful. I love you so much. Did I show you the hallway? I'm currently stood in the in the it's not an ensuite. What is it? A downstairs toilet. 
we've got like a new little hallway situation going on so a couple of vlogs back you saw me and my dad hang this up with this like ledge at the bottom i've now painted that ledge black because originally it was wood colored and we have this radiator cover which my dad found for us on facebook marketplace it was like 20 quid i think or 15. they're usually like 80 quid new um we just painted it black and then we've got some prints from decennio up i still need to sort of style the top of it i don't really know what to do there but i think it looks really cute when you walk in like if i have my back to the door you walk in and you sort of see this and then the idea is i'll insert a picture i want to paint a bit of the banister black just to sort of tie it in because at the minute we're a bit like lopsided with the black you like it don't you watched Hannah for a while will probably remember this comment down below if you do this has now become my painting top because I over wore it so it's a bit bobbly but then I didn't want to get rid of it so Han you're helping me paint today today we are going to attempt two things first of all the banister that I mentioned in the few clips ago we're going to do that so I've actually I rang my dad for DIY advice and he actually said, don't bother buying any sandpaper. So he's lent us this, which I'm not gonna lie, kind of scared to use. It's basically a powered sander thing, plugs in, and apparently it fastens to the hoover. So it collects all the dust, or most of the dust. I'm kind of scared. So we need to sand down the top part of the banister. I'll insert a little clip, but there's loads of little nail marks and they've been there for far too long. And we should have fixed this a while ago, but I don't know, it's just one of those things we've just not got round to. Because when Gus was a baby, he used it as his climbing post. He doesn't really do it now, so I think we're safe. So we need to sand it back to wood, then wood filler it. I've got boxes and boxes of sandpaper. We went and raided my dad's shed, so... We do that. And then also on the agenda today is to sort out the plants. This one behind me has got some yellow leaves. I've definitely been neglecting them. Um, so we bought two boxes of these drip feeders. I figured the soil's probably like got no nutrients in it anymore. I don't know if we're supposed to use these at a certain time of year. We also have compost. Houseplant compost is so expensive. And does anyone know if there's even a difference? Like could we have just gone outside and bought the regular compost surely it's all the same stuff and then we've got furniture covers for the sofa and the table in the garden because one of the storms we had recently literally shredded our old ones so third adulting task of the day not sure why i chose to tell you this sat on the doormat but here we are forget how much of a big job transplanting all these plants is. So we've nearly done. We've just discovered that we actually need a smaller pot. So I need to take the tape measure and measure. We're going to go to B&M because I think they have the best selection. But look at all the plants and this is not all of them. Some of them are already back where they live. Um, I'm covered and we've dissected this one because it was huge. So yeah. I'm literally going to be an M dressed like this, but I figured if I've got soil on my legs, it makes it very clear what I'm doing rather than I just look like a scruff. At the 
this point, my outfit choices are just getting worse. So we've got makeshift ear protectors, my blue light glasses as eye protection, and then this. And now I'm only just realizing the struggle of wearing glasses with face masks, because every time I breathe, it's fogging my glasses up. <laughs> but look at me, I've got the Hoover fastened to it. I feel like a Ghostbuster. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Not gonna lie, kind of scary. It's working and luckily we're only doing this big post here and the handrail and then there's another two big posts at the top but I'm so glad we're not doing these. I might like hand sand them a little bit but <sighs> okay let's keep going. Absolutely everything is covered in dust but I've made good progress. I've managed to get the big bits off. I just need to go through another time and get these bits. Um, done this bit but I just haven't got the energy anymore so <laughs> I'm gonna tidy up and stupidly I didn't have enough dust sheets so that's everywhere but I feel like it's gonna be quite satisfying for us to get rid of so I thought you might enjoy it as much as I will. realized that I curled my hair this morning and I just used some giant clips and I've not brushed it out yet. I'm gonna leave it like this. I feel like I need to let it fully cool before I can, you know. So I have spent at least 45 minutes just sat on this chair staring at my office situation because it's messy. Some of you might think that's not that bad, but I feel so overwhelmed when there's just clutter. I really don't like it and I can't fully concentrate. I've been trying to push past it so far this week and it's just getting progressively worse. So I think what I need to do before I even try and tackle any of my to-do list is to actually move all the crap that's everywhere. I am going to do a very quick sped up tidy up because I feel like that's going to motivate me. Maybe if you've got a messy area it'll motivate you and then I guess we start the day. It is currently 12 o'clock and I haven't done anything yet. <sighs> it's been one of those mornings. I just can't get going. So we're going to we're going to do it now. really isn't motivating today I won't lie I just can't be asked. <laughs> oh I've tidied the office that's a start just started recording this clip and my memory card is full so I can't continue recording for much longer I don't know I guess I need to now empty this clip <laughs> sorry that this part of the vlog is so dull I guess but this is just real life today I am not feeling it and that's okay Everything will be okay. I'll put it on here. I've got my £10 charity shop bargain coat. I think this is originally from Matalan or something. Matalan charity shop bargain. Chunky boots that need a wash, skinny jeans and just a baggy white jumper. Can't really move my arms in this coat because uh, it, I'm not as small as I used to be but I love it too much so I'm gonna go take my car for the tire to be fixed 
and then I also need to pick up a plant part because we realised this plant needs a fancy pot because we upgraded its pot and now we don't have one so oh and by the way this is what this is looking like it looks so much different in the daylight but I'm really happy with it we were tempted to keep it wood coloured and just stain it but I think I'm stuck with the the black i think the black will look so much better plus that means we don't have to try and like figure out what shade of stain to go with gonna take my tape measure gonna do some adulting things good morning it's a very icy, cold Saturday. I'm just gonna go to the supermarket to collect our food shop. Honestly, such a great life hack if you also hate doing supermarket shopping, especially on a Saturday because it's so busy and stressful. I hate it, very overstimulating. Do click and collect, it's magical. So I'm just gonna go and get that. I've had my text to say it's ready, so. Time for a food haul. Thick sliced bread, McCoy's hula hoops, Walker's roast chicken, Walker's pepperoni feast, posh olive oil, bananas, Skinny Whip Rocky Road, Skinny Whip Millionaire Shortbread, Skinny Whip Double Chocolate, Skinny Dream Salted Caramel, Skinny Whip Toffee. Can you tell our treat cupboard is empty? Tinned oranges, Belvita chocolate bisques, Alpro chocolate pudding, bag number two, <laughs> free range eggs, stir fry veg, stir fry noodles. I got the wrong noodles. Oh no. Two stir fry sauces, chicken for the stir fry, tzatziki, posh butter, two pates. Apparently my boyfriend loves pate. Now the muller corners are on 10 for four pounds. So I've got four Mississippi mud pie, ultimate throwback favorite, two strawberry shortcake, two banana chocolate flake, toffee hoops and vanilla chocolate balls. A huge punnet of grapes, huge carrots. And finally, ugh, three bottles of oat milk. Now the worst part, putting it away. my entire day so far uploading listings to Etsy and it feels a little bit like a thankless task at the moment because obviously my Etsy's brand new so I'm just sort of throwing things out into the world and hoping something sticks but I'm sat watching a documentary thing on Netflix called You Are What You Eat. It is American based but they keep talking about the food industry and now I've been inspired to change my usual pizza choice to a vegan pizza 
which I'm open to because I really love the vegan burgers you can get. So it's pizza night. Usually I'm a meat feast kind of girl. I'm gonna go with vegan. So we'll see, I'll report back on that in a bit. Still not done the banister. Probably gonna be a next week job now. Let's go to the shop before it closes. I always forget that the shop closes early on a Sunday. So I'm gonna go now before I get distracted and really involved in my work. Uh, so we don't miss out on the pizza. Vegan pizza shopping was not a success. Walked around the shop at least four times. <laughs> and because it's Sunday, it's so busy and I was losing my patience and I couldn't find the one that I found on the website. It looks quite nice. People have like reviewed because obviously it's never gonna be the same. Was it there to be seen? No, and there was also a few different ones, like different brands, non-existent, and I didn't have the patience to try and find someone to ask, so <laughs> instantly reverted back to old habits. I will try again, <laughs> not on a weekend. Um, I thought I'd show you my process, progress with crocheting buzz. Yes, I might as well be 65 years old and retired, but here I am crocheting Buzz Lightyear. So this is him so far. He has no limbs. His limbs are made. So then we've got both feet ready to go. His arms, two of them. Helmet thing that needs fastening on the back. And then loads of little tiny bits like this. The button, the tiniest little thing that needs sort of like embroidering on him. So that's Buzz so far. I'm hoping by the time I've edited this video, I will have finished Buzz. If so, there will be an insert here. If not, it'll be a job for next week, but he's very satisfying. He's quite fiddly and I'm not 100% sure if he's gonna end up looking like the picture, but I'm gonna love him just the same. <sighs> I got to a point last night though, there was a bit on the instructions that made zero sense. So I just, threw it all on the windowsill and just called it a day. I've not really got much more to say other than I'm gonna continue sitting in this exact spot, finish my documentary, and then I might watch High School Musical because why not? <laughs>